hear the advice, focus on what you can control. Yeah. Stay focused on what you can control. Well, if you're not controlling the banking function as it relates to your needs and things are going a little stir crazy financially, that's only going to amplify your anxiety and your worry. It's not going to deal with it in a positive way. But when you control this process, you begin to develop this peaceful, stress-free way of living. Oh, wow. Sarblo, Gil, and Jason Lowe, live in Daytona Beach, Florida. You can hear, likely, you can likely hear the ocean in the background. And we're here for a Money Multiplier Mastermind event that we've been invited to speak at. And we thought that we would have a bit of a jam session, do a little bit of content. And so, Sarbo, how are you enjoying your first Florida experience? Well, it's, it's amazing, Jason. You know, just taking some time off. Uh, well, it's not taking time off work, but just doing work a little bit differently, you know, relaxing your mind and just taking in all the beauty that we have here. It's my first time in Florida. It's, it's amazing. And I was sharing this with you. I was like, we should do this more frequently, maybe take bigger policy loans and be here every three months. <laughs> when I think about what makes trips like this possible and our journey with the process of becoming your own banker, Every single day that we're here, much like every single day that we're back home, the size of our aquarium of capital just gets bigger. It just gets larger. And yeah. that's very comforting when you want to add value to other events. You want to you know, help create amazing experiences for other people who are either just getting exposed to the process or are maybe along in their journey, but they, they're they want to learn something new. They want to grow. And we are practicing what we teach just by virtue of how we arrived here. And yes. so, you know, can you talk a little bit about the, the lifestyle that you can create when you implement this process in your life? Absolutely. You know, I'm going to start by sharing uh, the key word that resonated with me having to practice this process for the last six years personally to my family is peaceful. And and you just described it the very best way. You know, we are here today enjoying time, learning more value from the sessions that we can attend in the next couple of days so that we can bring back more to our clients and to our community. But knowing that we are here now, our aquarium, so-called our cash value, is still growing every single day uninterrupted, knowing that we don't have to worry about missing on the compounding aspect of our wealth while still being here, doing the things that we wanted to do, versus the other way would have been using cash, our own cash that we saved up, and then use that money to buy the things or the tickets or even pay for the time away from the office and we don't have to worry about any of that. We don't have to miss on the compounding aspect of the wealth. We can just catch up on uh, paying back on policy loans at any time that we want. Absolutely. And you really truly can be present. You can enjoy that vacation that you're on. You can enjoy, you know, being surrounded by a bunch of like-minded people who want to learn more about a process without worrying about oh, you know, I had to pile up a bunch of money in my savings account and then withdraw it all, go on a holiday, and then immediately get to work at replenishing that account when I get home. Or, you know, having to rack up a credit card balance and immediately get to work on paying it off when you get home. The capital, the, the freedom that the policy loan provision creates is something that is so overlooked because it's widely known that you can borrow against the cash value of a participating dividend paying whole life policy. Yeah. What is not widely known is that you can take control of the banking function as it relates to your needs. And this is the tool that empowers you to do that. And so the, one of the things that I just want to frame up for people who are tuning in to the YouTube channel and wanting to know, because questions around loans and, and the process and uh, the interest and all those things, those are some of the most frequently asked questions that come up. 
And so let's talk a little bit about just the, the basic contractual uh, provision called a policy loan and then the freedom that it creates. And so including addressing some of the frequently asked uh, questions that come up. So Sarblo, when you think of that provision within the contract, yeah. how do you explain that to somebody? Well, the, the provision that we have and we're referring to participating in developing like policy structure for the purpose of practicing the process of becoming a banker in Canada. So the provisions in the contract is that by age 100, our pool of capital, our aquarium cash values must match the debt benefit. And debt benefit is always, always going to be higher than what you're putting in as premium, way, way higher, multiple times higher. So we start with the policy, let's just put a premium amount, we have a higher debt benefit. Immediately, there is going to be cash value accumulation, which is capital that is owned by the policy owner, but it's the insurance company on the hook to fulfill the contract or guarantee to the policy owner. We are a contract should get in here, which says by age 100, cash values and debt benefit must match. So every single day as we wake up, we are one day closer to age 100, which means our aquarium of capital is going to increase every day to match that debt benefit, no matter what happens outside of that in the financial entertainment world. So. And the insurance company provides you with a loan provision in, in the contract that says, as a policy owner, yeah. Request a loan from the insurance company at any time. At any time, it's contractual guarantee. Policy owner has the first right to the capital before insurance companies can deploy that capital anywhere else. Uh, and then what policy owner can access is equal to 90% of cash values. And it's just all they need to do is put in a single, complete a single page document, a complete a document uh, which needs your policy number. Who you are as the owner, just put in your name, how much money you need, up to 90% of cash values we can access. Minimum that they'll allow to access is $500. So anything between $500 to 90% of cash values, just put in the amount, sign it, and date it. And then all they could do is let them know whether you want to receive those funds electronically in your bank account or you want to have insurance companies send you a check for the amount that you request. That's, that's all that's required to access capital. It's readily available on demand capital. So in practical terms, you know, like if you, if you're building up a, uh, an aquarium of capital that is cash value and you've built up an aquarium of a hundred thousand dollars of total cash value, the insurance company will permit you to borrow against 90,000 of that cash value. So in practical terms, if you're going to, take a nice holiday and you want to come down to Daytona beach, Florida and spend a week with your family and you need to take $10,000 of the life insurance company's money to do that. You request the policy loan. The insurance company asks you two questions. Would you like it electronically deposited or would you like us to mail you a check? Your 100,000 in total cash value continues rising every single day that you and your family are vacationing and the loan itself is unstructured meaning the insurance company does not require a repayment schedule for that loan now if you're practicing the process of becoming your own banker based on what r nelson nash developed and pioneered and what he describes in his book becoming your own banker which we will obviously wholeheartedly encourage you to get a copy the control is in your hands and so is the outcome. And so if you're a responsible banker and you're repaying your policy loans with interest, then you're going to replenish the money pool of the life insurance company that you co-own. Your aquarium is going to keep growing no matter what, whether you access policy loans or not. The whole key is to get more capital into the system than what the insurance company is calling for so that the insurance company has more capital to multiply for your benefit and for everyone else who co-owns the company. It's like Nelson described in the book when he asked the, the question in the grocery store example, would you be much of a grocery store owner if you were the only customer who shopped there? 
The answer is no. You want to build a business to not only meet your needs, but to all the needs of others who want and need the very same thing, which in the grocery store business is food and in the banking business is money. So you want to be both the buyer and the seller of the very goods that you need and you want to run your system just like a business because that's exactly, that's precisely what it is. And Sarblo, for, for viewers on the YouTube channel, you know, as you're watching this and you're thinking to yourself, this is really interesting. I'd like to really take a deeper dive. If viewers just ease on over to watchibc.com. Again, that's watchibc.com. You'll see the link in the show notes. You'll see the link on the video. Go to watchibc.com. And when you get there, you're going to see uh, a deeper dive into a 90-minute uh, video, instructional webinar-style video that will give you a deeper understanding of this concept, the infinite banking concept for Canadians, the process of becoming your own banker. Now, going back to the loans, Sarblo. If you know that you have ready access capital to take advantage of high caliber opportunities that track you down, to go vacation with your family, to go vacation with me, (laughs) (laughs) just knowing that you have ready access capital to do that, unstructured loan, you control the repayment schedule. Talk to me about how that makes you feel as a policy owner. Well, it creates it's freedom for myself, and I'll share a little bit of uh, example of another client sharing his experience of using a policy loan to finance his lifestyle. He took his family to a trip in India. He's in Regina. He's been practicing this concept for less than a year. You know, after, after COVID, you know, it, it, airlines had a setback because they couldn't run their business because everything just came to a stunning halt. So after the COVID, when restrictions were uh, lift up and it's been lifting up gradually, uh, he had an opportunity to go visit his family and he hadn't seen his family for a couple of years because everybody being locked in. And obviously the tickets of, at that time were quite expensive, but for him, the story that he shared was, well, I had access to capital, which I've been setting aside for less than a year. And I could borrow money from insurance company and then buy these tickets, which would get me from Canada all the way to India. The objective was to spend some quality time with my family in India without actually ever interrupting the growth of my capital. The tickets were very expensive, more expensive than usual, but it didn't bother him at all because he knew that his pool of capital, his aquarium, his wealth, never got interrupted so it put him in a much more peaceful mind versus doing it the conventional way which is either using your cash and saying goodbye to the cash and then coming back from your trip and working hard to recover your loss or borrowing money from credit cards and lines of credit and then coming back from your trip and paying the credit cards and line of credit and be stressed about it so it didn't create any stress for him it created a peaceful way of using the policy to his advantage for that particular lifestyle and we we're in Daytona and I was just, I got up early today, just kind of had some coffee in my hand and I was just looking at, okay, on, on the beach, just enjoying the moment. And I looked at different age groups. You know, there were folks who were well, young children with parents. Our parents were in, you know, somewhere in early 20s, late 20s. There were some folks who just came in by themselves, maybe late 30s, but there were also folks there who were maybe anywhere from age, maybe 50 to age 80. And everybody was there because this is the lifestyle they want to enjoy. And then one question that we get asked all the time is, hey, this process is for someone who is much more younger. I said, you're thinking this not from the objective standpoint, which is banking, financing. You're thinking in terms of insurance standpoint, because everybody here enjoying the wonderful time, doesn't matter what age group they are, they still bank to get there. And if they didn't use the process of becoming your banker to get here, they, they were able to get here to enjoy the lifestyle, but then the wealth balance went down. Now, it didn't take away any op- options from a client who still accomplished his objective of building that lifestyle for that vacation. But while he was on vacation, his wealth balance just kept going up and up and up and up. So everybody is going to be able to accomplish the goals in life. It doesn't matter what the goals is, but the outcome that it's going to produce for them financially is going to be different. It's going to be different based on how or what methods are they using to build that lifestyle. The, the process of banking, it, it 
really, it goes on no matter what is happening. So regardless of age is like you described it. I mean, people are going to need to use some money for the rest of their lifetime. They're going to rely upon the function of banking to take care of, you know, all of their expenses, all of their lifestyle uh, desires. And so to create a peaceful, stress-free way of life financially, getting the bankers out of your life, but like you said, still doing all those things that you would have done anyway, while increasing your net worth every single day without having to worry about government intervention or stock market manipulation or a real estate cycle or whether the economy is receding or expanding, you get to take control of that function as it relates to your needs. And you've heard people share the advice all the time, right? When people are anxious about what's going on out there in the world and you hear the advice, focus on what you can control. Stay focused on what you can control. Well, if you're not controlling the banking function as it relates to your needs and things are going a little stir crazy financially, that's only going to amplify your anxiety and your worry. It's not going to deal with it in a positive way. But when you control this process, you begin to develop this peaceful, stress-free way of living. And there's no risk involved. There's no... uh, change of cash flow or asking someone to work harder. It's just all about and all a matter of where your money's flowing to, who that money is being put to work for, and for how long. And so get your hands on a copy of the book titled Becoming Your Own Banker. It's a 92 page uh, book, 77 pages are reading on the concept. And uh, the the link is here. You can order your copy. You'll be glad you did. It'll take a few hours for you to get through the book. And if you read it with an open mind, I promise you it's going to open your eyes to a whole new financial world. And so, Sarbla, what the viewer is going to see here on the YouTubes, they're going to see a recommended playlist that came up. It just showed up. The editor's not here with us in Florida. They're just taking care of and doing all this great work for us. And we would encourage you to continue your journey of learning. You made the right decision by being on the Bankers Vault channel. Hit the subscribe button, um, continue your journey through the playlist, and then head on over to watchibc.com. Again, that's watchibc.com. And if you like what you see and you like what you hear, create a time to get connected with the right person on my team.